I just changed the spark plugs on a 2018 Toyota CHR. If you're watching this video, I imagine either you have never changed spark plugs before in a vehicle and you have a CHR and you're looking to do that, which is great. You're looking to get spark plug size uh, or numbers off the spark plugs, which I'll show you. Or the tools you need to do so. So this uh, will require 14 millimeter, a 14mm spark plug socket. Uh, you can also use 9 sixteenths. That matches up well enough. You need a 10 millimeter to pull off the coils. And these are the spark plugs I'm using. I think it came factory with Denso. These are NGK, which are acceptable replacements. I would recommend either use Denso or NGK if you're going to do this to your Toyota. So let's take off the beauty cover slash sound cover and get to work. Basically you unplug these coils by just pulling up this little clip. And they're every other one black and gray so that you don't mix them up. But I don't think you could even if you wanted to because they don't reach. So we'll get 10 millimeter sockets and take these coils off. When you pull them out, there is a rubber grommet here. Uh, make sure that you account for that. So when you put it back in, you keep it sealed. Uh, they don't have to go back in in the same configuration or the configuration, same order that they come out. But so like this one, if it ends up over here, it's fine because they're all the same coil. There's the uh, rubber that I was talking about. If it's not here, check here. If you don't see it here, look to see if you dropped it someplace. All right, I went with a shorter extension on top of the extended spark plug socket because if you go too high, it kind of pushes your wrench into there. So that's what I went with. And a uh, very common sense tip, always remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. So it's important when you pull your spark plugs out to inspect them, make sure that they're not too white or too dark or they have any oil on them, that you may have addi additional problems. I'm not going to get into how to read spark plugs exactly because I'm not really pro on reading them, but this one looks good to me. So I will visually check each one of them as I pull them out. And uh, yeah. Now that I have the plugs out, there they are on my rusty toolbox. Um, again, these are the spark plugs I'm putting in. The factory plugs, the old plugs that came with it are Denso SCH16HR11. These come pre-gapped, they say, from the factory at .043 with the spark plug gapper. I'm going to verify before I put them in that they are, in fact, that gap. And just to see how much wear I got, I'm going to gap and check my old plugs and see what their gap was running at. So this is a spark plug gap, gapper, so to speak, and it, it, it goes from thin to thick, and uh, you can use it to bend the, the arm here a little bit to get the gap you need or tap it down. But uh, you can just put it in and slide it, see where it stops. This one stops at 0.35, and the information I got online was 0.043. So either these weren't gapped or I have the wrong information, but truth be told, as long as your gap is close enough, this is not a high-performance motor, I think you'll be just fine. Uh, another thing, too, to notice is the, the old plugs had this gasket here, this crush gasket, I guess you call it, and it had this end on it. Some different vehicles have, some vehicles don't use this, I've seen not use it. And some do not have this, you, you can unthread this, it has a threaded post. So you want to make sure that whatever you're putting in matches what you're taking out. And this seems to be matching very well so far. So, I'm going to go ahead and put them in. There's a torque spec to these, uh, I believe it's 15 foot-pounds. I'm just going to make it taut, I'm not going to uh, use a torque wrench.
All right, I'm gonna plug the coils back in. You can hear it click, click. I'll spare you the click. There we go. Now, regarding the cover, there's some of these little knobs here, or nubs. Let's see if uh, the camera's gonna pick it up. Here we go. Got one right here. Those nubs fit into these rubber grommets, and you can really feel it um, make contact when you press, press it down. So you just line it up, oil fill and oil checker, and then just press down. It's, it's nice and secure. The car is ready to go. It's really very simple. If you're wanting to tackle this for the first time, don't hesitate.